What does that even mean, Bowers Game Cornar? All right, we're going to be playing another game of Viticulture Solo. Last time we introduced uh, two tiers, the Mamas and Papas tier and the Property tier. And now we're going to add three tiers of the Tuscany expansion. And today we're going to be adding Patronage, which is going to give us a little bit something different. So let's, let's refresh real quickly. First, the Mamas and Papas expansion is going to allow you to start different than everyone else normally would in the game. So you start with various different things, different cards, different, uh, different things on your board such and so forth. Next, properties down here is going to make it so that you can sell your properties, but uh, while you might get a lot of money right at the beginning, if you ever need to flip the property back over, it's going to cost you a pretty penny, and it's also going to cost you one of your workers. So now we're going to get into the patronage expansion. How this is going to work is essentially every person is going to get a card that is going to look like this. In order to fill this, and you just fill it like a regular wine order, you are going to have to have a uh, at least a five wine of any kind and if you fill that order you're going to gain three victory points so that's a pretty sweet deal right there but also on the back of these cards are going to be some secret objectives that if you're able to complete uh, will gain you extra victory points at the end of the game so these could potentially swing the game in your favor or against your favor so obviously when we're playing a solo game we would have to take out all of the cards that are going to impact uh, multiplayer games so most vine cards on all fields fewest workers, fewest structures, most planted vine cards on one field. So obviously those would impact multiplayer games. So we're going to shuffle up all these, and then we're going to pick one that we are going to have to try and focus on. And let's see what we get here. So we got at least five total planted vine cards. So I don't think that should be too difficult. So what you do is you just kind of slide this normally underneath your board, but we're actually going to put it down over here, and that's how we'll remember that we have not filled that order yet. So let's go ahead, we'll get our mama and papa, and then we can get started. Uh, so we got our mama and papa card, and we'll get right there on the mama, and we will take this papa right there. So we got our mama and our papa, let's see what our papa does. We got Papa Stefan, who's going to give us four bucks, so we're starting out with a good chunk of change. He's also going to give us a grande worker, well, obviously, and then he's going to give us either an irrigations or a uh, two coins. And I think irrigation is definitely the way to go, especially since we do need to plant vines with, uh, with our thing there that we got, our uh, patronage cards over there. So we'll put down our irrigation. Now let's see what Mama's going to give us. Be nice, Mama. Oh, we got Mama Megan. I like Mama Megan. I've had her a couple times now. She's going to give us two of our workers. So we'll start off with a uh, typical allotment of workers. And we're also going to start off with two green cards and one yellow card, which is great considering we need to get those five vines planted. Now, let's see what we got on our cards. So we got a Pino, which is going to require a trellis. It's one and one. One red, one white. Then we have the Cabernet Sauvignon, which is going to be a full red. And then we're going to need a Irrigation and a Trellis. Last but not least, we have an Auctioneer. Discard four cards to gain either two victory points or four dollars. So that definitely could come in handy a little bit later. So um, let's put down our little guy right here, our victory point at the start spot. And then let's get this game up and on the road. So we're going to start off this game, and I want to get some vines planted. I want to have a lot of vines planted. I want to get this achievement out of the way early so we can guarantee ourselves two points. So I'm going to go ahead, and I am going to take a green card. So we're going to get ourselves a green card and our cube, and we got the Malvasia, which is going to allow us to uh, do uh, plant it just normal, but it's going to have one white grape on there. So we already got three things that we hopefully can plant in the next two turns. That's our goal. Let's see what Autonomous is going to do. So he's going to draw a green card, so that's kind of good. We already did that. He's also going to build a structure, which does kind of stink because I wanted to do that. And then he is going to plant, which also really kind of stinks because that's also what I wanted to do. Thanks a lot. So, uh, playing a yellow card is not going to help us at all, so obviously that is out of the question. We could use some money. I mean, it's always good to have money, but I don't really think that's the best course of action. What I want to do is, I think what we're going to do is, we're actually going to use our grande worker. As much as I don't like to use our grande worker this early, we're going to use our grande, you know what? No, we're not. I don't know what we're going to do here. We are not having the best options here. 
I think we should focus on getting that worker right down there. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a little bit of cash. So we're going to give it to her. Gain two bucks. Put us at five, six. And then, oh, I know what we're going to do. I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and buy ourselves a workshop down here. With our grande worker, we're going to build a structure. We're going to get the windmill down there. Sorry, the windmill, which is going to give us one point whenever we plant a vine because as, as our secret card will have us doing, we're going to be planting at least five vines, which will, in theory, give us five victory points. So I think that's a good idea to build onto that. And I think we're done with the summer phase. So we will pass. We will draw a... Let's start with a yellow card. Uh, this one is going to build a structure at a three discount, so that's not bad at all. Whoops, I almost forgot to pay for my windmill. Whoops, that would have been quite a big cheat pitch. So we got five coins, and let's move on and see what the autonomy is going to do. So he is going to make up to two wine tokens, so that doesn't impact us at all. He's also going to fill a wine order, so once again, not going to hurt us in the least. Which is good, because we have... Ooh, actually, we don't have any money, and we don't have any cards to play, so we can... We can't harvest a field, we can't pay for a worker, we could gain a dollar. Ugh. Ugh, talk about crummy options here. Okay, I guess... I guess we'll draw... We'll draw a purple card, because you always need purple cards, right? And we're going to get a, uh, ooh, a 4.1 that's going to, that all it needs is a 3 red and a 5 white. So that's not a bad one to have at all. We got our dollar. Not exactly the best turn, but not a terrible turn for our first year. Let's go ahead and pick up our workers, and we will continue on. Now, I do want to mention that uh, if I win this game once again, I'm going to introduce next time I do another tier uh, these cards over here. The Autonoma normal cards, uh, they'll make them harder. They have normal and hard, and these will essentially make the game more difficult, because I feel like it's getting a lot easier for us, and I think that will show, because I think we're just going to smash right now. i got a good feeling. So let's collect all the yellow workers, and we'll move on to year number two. And what do I want? I have a coin, I have a green card. Yeah, let's get a yellow card. Let's get ourselves a yellow card, and hopefully it'll be something that we can use. And we still have our two awesome cubes over there. So, choose up to two structures that cost three or less. Build them for one point each instead of Lyra. Wow. That's pretty tempting. But the thing is, I don't need... I need this structure, which costs two, and then the medium seller costs four. So, I don't think we're actually going to end up using that card. Let's see what Autonomous is going to do. Uh, is going to harvest one field. He's not going to do anything. Oh, he's going to flip a property, which we were not. I wasn't planning on using, so that doesn't hurt us at all. So he's on the flip one property thing, and let us see what we're going to do with our workers. Some money would be nice, but I don't want to sacrifice these fields. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to use a yellow card up here to play one card, and we will just play one card, I do believe. And we're going to build a structure at a 3 discount. And we're going to go ahead and get ourselves that trellis right there. And we'll just do it for free. So, bada boom, we have a trellis. Nice start. Next, I think we're going to plant. And normally, I would say right now to use this cube and plant two. But because I want to get these victory points, I think we're only going to plant one. And I think we will plant our Cabignol Sauvignon. Uh, on our seven field, because this field, uh, due to the properties expansion, is going to give us seven max capacity instead of the normal six. So we plant that, we gain a victory point, woohoo! And we have one more Grande worker. I don't think there's anything else I really need to do, so we are going to pass. And we will pass, and we will get a. Let's get a blue card, why not? This one is going to let us lose one. Victory point to upgrade your seller to the next level. Ooh, that one is going to get used. I can guarantee you that, probably. All right, so we planted, and uh, let's see what our autonomous is going to do. So he is going to do nothing. Wow, that uh, that's pretty awesome. I can't complain about that. So we will go on to the winner phase, and we have our grande worker, and, well, I guess we could do whatever we want anyway. So, I think what we're going to do is, I think we've got to harvest a field. Let's get some grapes going. Oh, yeah, let's get these grapes going. 
So we're going to harvest a field, and we got ourselves a four red right there. Uh, that's the end of the year, so we'll go ahead and age that while we're thinking about it. Collect all of our workers. We're now up to one victory point. We need to get some money. That's what we really need to do. Uh, we'll collect our one guy since our computerized opponent didn't do too much that turn. And let's see what we want to do. Do I want to go ahead and splurge on that medium seller yet? No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Um, I think what we're going to do is we are going to get... Oh, I need to complete a wine order. That's what we really need to do. Yeah, let's complete this wine order. This We can't complete that wine order this turn. Are you crazy? All right, I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to get nothing right now. Now let's get the worker. Let's get this worker. We need the worker. We got these three magical cubes over here that are not being used, and we need to use those bad boys right now, I think. So let's see what the Anton is going to do. He's going to build one structure, which is terrible because that's kind of what I wanted to do and that's it uh, so he's just going to build a structure he's just going to block that so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to first and foremost plant a vine because I need to plant I need to continue to plant we're going to get this pino on there which that'll put us at six remember this field right here can hold up to seven so and then we're going to gain a victory point because we did in fact plant a vine uh, and then next, I think we we need some cash. We need a little bit of cash flow going on here. So I'm going to actually give a tour to gain two coins. Boom. And then I think we are going to also build a structure. And we're using our Grande Worker in order to do that. And we have three coins, so we will use our little cube to make it so it costs one less, and we're going to go ahead and build that medium seller. So now, wouldn't you know it, we got ourselves a medium seller. So that's great. And then we have our one worker left. There's nothing I really think I want to do right now. Uh, well, obviously, we need to turn in this money. And I think we're going to pass, and we will draw ourselves a blue card and this one is going to let us choose to harvest one field make up to two wine tokens or fill a wine order so that's a card I always like to have the jack of all trades and then we are going to see what the autonomy does and hopefully does not block the play blue card because that's the only thing I want to do and he did not thank you guys so he's going to do pay four to train and he's also going to fill a wine order oh and he's going to draw a purple card so he did block a lot of things but not the one thing I wanted to do so we're going to come on over here. We're going to play a blue card. And we're actually going to play two, count them, two blue cards. And uh, the first one we're going to do is we're going to lose one victory point wah, wah, to upgrade a seller to the next level. Ha ha! So I think that was definitely worth it. So we now have ourselves a large seller in the third year. So I'm liking how that's working out. Then we're going to do our jack of all trades, which will allow us to harvest one field, make up to two wine tokens, and fill a wine order. So the obvious choice here is we're going to harvest a field. So now we have a five red, which will get bumped down to a four red. So we already have a five red right there. And then also we have a one white. So we got ourselves some grapes churning. And then we can create up to two wine tokens. So why don't we do that? And I think we'll get the one wine over here. And then we'll go ahead and get the four red. I don't know why we're doing four instead of five, but hey, we're just going to do that. So we've done that. We've used our jack of all trades, and we are done with this year. And that year is over. So we are three years in. We currently have one victory point. Not exactly where I hope to see myself after three years. But otherwise, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We're going to get this machine running, I have a feeling. Uh, so now our, our gray worker is out of duty. We have, essentially, we have put him out of commission. And we need to get some money. We really need to get some new workers going. So as much as I don't want to have to get rid of this field, I think it's in our best interest to do it. I think we need to have two fields going. So that's my main goal, is to get money and then get this guy over here to train. Uh, but let's first upgrade our grapes, because it is the end of the year. So uh, our wine and our grapes get upgraded. And then I think we are going to take the... Yeah, we're going to take... Oh, I really need money. Yeah, we're going to take this guy right here. I think... Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. 
And you know what I actually forgot to do? I forgot to turn in one of these green, these one of these cubes when I did the play two card action over there. My bad. So let's see what we got going on here. He's going to plant, which stinks. I hate your guts. And then he's also going to flip a property. Of course he's going to flip a property. Why wouldn't he do the two things I want to do? Well, that changes our plan, because now we were planning on obviously planting, because we have to plant to complete our goal, but then at the same time to sell at least one, we need the money. We absolutely have to get this worker, uh, because just having three workers is really crippling us. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, tough decision here. We can't get the money we need, I don't think. No, no, nothing's going to choose. Choose up to two structures that cost three or less. No, we can get rid of that card. So there's nothing we can do. So oh, as much as I don't want to not plant this time, I think what we're going to do is we're not going to plant this time, and we're going to still use our Grande Worker to flip a property, and we're going to go ahead and flip the five, which is going to give us five coins. Yeah, do I want to do the five? Yeah, we'll do the five. So I'm going to get flip that over. And we now got ourselves a big old five coin, which hopefully we can turn into a worker. So we have our two workers left. We use our grande. There's nothing else right here that particularly interests me that I see. So we are going to draw a card and move on. And I think we're going to draw ourselves a... We're going to draw ourselves another blue card, which is going to let us draw the crush expert, draw one purple card, and make up to three wine tokens. So that's always a good one to have up your sleeve. And let's see the autonomy. Do not block the Lingo guy. He did not. He actually did not block anything at all in the winter time. So that worked out very, very well for us. So we have our two workers right here. Obvious first thing we're going to do is we're going to pay four bucks to train worker because we've got to get another worker going. So now we have another worker we can start using next year. And we have our other guy right here which would be pretty useful to harvest a field. I think that's the best way to go. Just get these grapes pumping out. We need to have a lot of grapes because we're going to need some victory points somewhere. Um, the only other option we can potentially do is drawing a purple card, but I don't think we need to do that because we can do that next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to harvest a field, and we're going to get ourselves a 5 red which is not blocked, and a one white. And we really need to get some more white in there. Uh, and that is what we're going to do with that turn. Let's go, so we're at the end of the year. Let's go ahead and age everything before we forget. And, ooh, we got some fancy grapes down there. We got some fancy grapes. And now we have four workers instead of three. Pick up the Autonoma guys and move on to year number five. Wow. We're at one victory point at year number five. This is not going how I planned <laughs> at all. Um, I'm really thinking we might lose this now. But we let's keep the faith. We got a lot of grapes. We got a lot of wine. We can make this happen. We might just need to start going fishing for purple cards. Speaking of purple cards, let's go ahead and get one right now. We got to start using these cubes more effectively. So we get a purple card, a four, and a three white. So it's going to give us three victory points. Uh, not exactly the big fish I was looking for, but, you know, more options are more options. Also, oh my gosh, that's terrible. We need white wine. <laughs> All right, so let's see what Antonim is going to do. So uh, he's going to play a yellow card, which, okay. He's also going to sell grapes or trade one for one. Is that? Flip one property. Sell grapes slash trade one for one. So I think, I don't know if that's this spot or not. That's actually kind of odd. I know it's in the expansion, but normally it has the T on there. Some of them do have the T and some of them don't, which always confuses me. Yeah, so we're just going to assume that that's not blocked, but we're not going to use that, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so we will, we'll just put it on there for anyway. Uh, so we have one coin, so we can't really build anything. we got some yellow cards that aren't very helpful. And we got to, the obvious thing we need to do is we got to plant. we got to plant this Valvesa, Malaysia, so boom. That now puts us at 7 on this field, and that also gives us a victory point. And then I think we, we have to draw some green cards. We've got to get these green cards coming out. We're, we're going to draw two green cards, actually. We're going to use that special cube, and we have a, another Malvesa, which is worth one white. Give me something good. And a Syrah, which is worth two. Ooh, I, I need to get these in the ground. I think I need to plant them. I don't want to plant them, but I think I need to plant them. We've got two workers left. Oh, this is frustrating. 
We're going to pass. I'm going to pass. We're going to hold steadfast. We're going to pass, and we're going to move on to the winner phase. And I'm going to draw a blue card, which will hopefully help us a lot. And it is, as you play this card, put the top card of two different discard piles into your hand. So that could potentially help us. Uh, I don't know if it's going to yet, but we'll see how that works out. Um, so let's see what the autonomous is going to do. And he is going to fill a wine order. Great, because that's what I wanted to do. And make up to two wine tokens. Also great, because that's also what I wanted to do. Uh, but that's what he's going to do in the winter phase. And we are going to move on to our winter phase. Alright, so winter phase, what shall we do? Got our two workers. We're going to need... I think we need to fill a wine order. Can we fill a wine order? We cannot fill a wine order. We need to get more purple cards right now. So we are actually going to draw, and we're going to use our special little cube so we can draw two purple cards. Uh, so a four, three, and two of red, and then a seven of the sparkling. So those are both worth four victory points apiece. And let's see, we cannot complete either of those, but I do believe we can create a 7 Sparkling and then potentially turn that in next round, which will gain us 4 points, which will make me feel a little bit better about the progress we're making. So I think that's probably the best course of action right now. So let's go ahead and... We can't make wine tokens. Uh, oh, we have our... We, what am I talking about? We got our Grande Worker. So we will go ahead and use our Grande Worker to... I want to harvest a field. Yeah. Let's let's just look at this. Let's get this. Let's, yeah, no, I, yeah, I'll harvest a field. So we're going to harvest a field, which will give us a 5 red. So that goes right there. And also a 2 white, which will get bumped down, unfortunately, to a 1 white. And that's what we're going to do. So we will collect all of our pieces and move all the yellow pieces back up and move on into year number six. And in year number six, we're at two victory points, not where we were hoping to be. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we are going to have to discard some cards because we have ten cards over here, which is obviously way, 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 way too many cards. So this one is going to let us build structures, so we don't need that. That gets down to nine cards. And then the rest I kind of like. This one is going to let us discard four cards to gain either two victory points or four bucks. That one's kind of nice, but we'll get rid of that one. It's kind of expendable. And we have to get rid of one more card. And I actually like all of these cards. Um, so I think the one we're going to get rid of is this four and three of white. I just don't think we have enough white to really spare. And it's only worth three victory points, so we're going to get rid of that one as well. So we've gotten rid of it. We're down to seven cards. And now we have to decide, pick our poison on what we're going to do this year. And I think the way to go is to get the dollar, because I don't know, I'm not going to use the dollar, but maybe I will. Let's age everything. So we got a seven red over here. We got some pretty good wine. We got some really good red grapes. Uh... Yeah, I did that right. Yeah, that worked out well. And let's see how we're going to do this. Autonoma, be nice to me. And he's going to draw a green card, which doesn't really impact us at this point in the game. He's going to play a yellow card, once again, not really impacting us. And that is all he's going to do. So that doesn't hurt us too much. And where's our workers? Oh, here's our workers. We have our four guys. So we had four guys. For some reason, I put them off to the side of the board. Let's see what we need to do on this turn. Um, ooh, a lot of decisions to be made here. We absolutely have to, but we have to plant. Duh. We have to plant. That's, that's a no-brainer. That's completely mandatory. And we'll get the Syrah? No. Yeah, we'll get the... Ugh, what is this? Yeah, we'll get the... Yeah, we'll get the Syrah. Why not? So we got ourselves a Syrah. Put it right here. And that's going to give us a victory point. Putting us up to three. Yippee! Skippy! And then we will do nothing else. I don't really think anything in this phase is going to help us too much. We are all about the winter time, all the time right now. So we will draw a blue card, and hopefully it is something helpful. Harvest one field, and either draw one green card or pay one to build a yellow. So that, that's not bad. Let's us harvest a field. It's not great, but it's not bad. 
on Tanama, do not hurt me. And it is going to pay for to train a worker. That's the only thing it's going to block, which obviously probably not going to be an option for us. So we are going to be able to frolic in the winter time all we want. And this is a big winter phase. If we screw up this winter phase, we have no shot of winning. So we absolutely have to make sure we nail this winter phase down. So now the question is, how do we do that? <laughs> um, we have three workers. Three workers. All right. What's this let us do? This is going to let us not do anything useful. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm getting an idea. I'm getting an idea. Harvest one field. I get to turn two things to fill one wine order. So yes, 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 yes. Genius. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a blue card. We're going to utilize this, which is going to allow us to play two blue cards. And we're going to play the innkeeper. As you play this card, put the top card of two different discard piles into your hand. So I'm actually going to pick up this jack-of-all-trades card. And I will pick up this other wine order for the four, four white and three red. Or four white, three white. Uh, no, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to get this auctioneer just to be... Yeah, no, we're not going to get this... We're going to get the wine order, because we need wine orders. And then we get to play another blue card, so then we'll play our jack-of-all-trade cards, which let us choose to harvest one field, make up to two wine tokens, or fill one wine order. Uh, so we are actually going to make up to two wine tokens, I think, is the way to go. And we're going to need, uh, for the... For the, for the sparkling down there, we need to find two red and one white, and get a seven. Oh, man. We have some really high red there. Oh, gosh. There's no good options here. Okay. So, we're actually going to bite the bullet on this. And we're going to take a 6 red and a 7 red. Oh, I don't want to do that. That's really bad. That is the worst option in the history of options. Uh, okay, is there anything else we can do? This is only up to a four. Oh, this is so frustrating, this game is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to... Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. We're using a six red and a seven red and a two white to make what would amount to a nine sparkling. Gosh. And then we're going to fill a wine order, which would be to fill this order right here which is going to give us one point on this track. Not that it really matters too much, but it's also going to give us, more importantly, four victory points. One, two, three, four. So, boom, that's what we needed to do. So, continuing onward, we have two workers left. And I think the best thing to do here is to fill another wine order, which would be right here. Uh, right down here. And then for that, we're actually going to fill this, the patronage wine order. So we just need a five of any... No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. Rewind. We're actually going to make up to two wine tokens. No, we're going to harvest one field. No, we're going to make up to two wine tokens. Oh, there's so much things I want to do. I hate it. Oh, gosh. We're going to get blasted in this, aren't we? All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to fill a wine order, and we're going to go ahead and fill this with a 6-7 red. We're going to turn a 7 red. Oh, we got to get rid of this guy, too. 7 red, which is going to go ahead and fulfill this order, which means we gain 3 victory points. 1, 2, 3, which puts us at 10. That's not terrible. And then also, if we're uh, normally you wouldn't flip this over, but since it's just a solo game, we can flip this over. And as we mentioned, if we plan at least... Five, uh, five vine cards, we're going to get two victory points. We have four right now, so if we can plant one more next time, essentially that's going to put us at uh, 12 points instead of 10 points. So we might have a shot at this. We might be able to pull this off if we can knock off two of these four-point cards, but it's going to be very difficult. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to harvest two fields. Uh, so we're going to use our little handy-dandy cube right here, which is not a cube. I know it's not a cube. We're going to harvest two fields. So that's going to give us, what's it going to give us? It's going to give us a 2 red, so that that will help us. And then it's going to give us a 5 red, and then it's going to give us a 2 white. So we're going to have some flexibility, we're going to have some grapes. We might be able to pick, we might be able to do this. I'm, I'm cautiously optimi optimistic at this point that we might be able to do it. That's the end of the year, so let's go ahead and age everything. Uh, so we have a 9, look at that bad boy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a 9 great before. We have a 9 red down there. 
Uh, so we aged everything. Let's collect our pitiful four workers. I really wish we had five. Uh, we also get a coin. Woohoo! We have six cards, so we don't have to discard anything. Collect all the uncountable workers. Move down here. Get our last special cube that we're going to get. And we're in year number seven. We also gain a victory point, so that is really pretty awesome. Uh, so we're up to 11. And then we are going to see what the autonomous is going to do. And he's going to harvest... He's going to do nothing in this phase. Uh, which is good and bad, because at the same time, we're probably also going to do absolutely nothing. Because, oh, what am, I, what am I talking about? Oh my gosh, smack me in the face, people. I almost forgot to plant. We're obviously going to plant this Malvesa here, because we absolutely have to do that. Uh, which means we are going to be able to accomplish this goal right here at the end of the game. We're going to gain our two victory points, and we'll just do that right now instead of at the end of the game, uh, so that way we don't forget, which means we are now at 13 points, and so we need seven points going on. Uh, and I, I think we got a shot. We got ourselves a shot. We got our one cube. We got tons of grapes. Uh, we got a couple. We got one thing of wine in there. Uh, three workers, though, is going to make it hard to do. So we are done with this phase. We're obviously going to draw a blue card. Discard one wine token from your medium or large cellar to gain two victory points. Oh, I love you so much, card. You are so helpful right now. Let's see what's going to get blocked. Uh, so they are going to... Oh, my goodness. The, the only thing that's going to get blocked is pay for to train a worker. So now we just need to put this puzzle together and figure out how we can win this game because I'm pretty sure we can win this. So... What do we need to do? We need to get 11, 12, 13. We need seven points. We need seven points here. We, the problem is we don't have any orders that are going to give us five victory points, and that really kind of stinks. Okay. Okay, let me, let me work this out in my brain. We need to get to seven points. So this judge really kind of saved our hiney here. That's two of the points we need to get, and that should not be a problem at all. So we need to make wine tokens. We need to fill one of these orders. And we need to play a blue card. I don't think we can do all of them. Of course, I don't think we can do all of them. Oh, no. Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. Let's see if we can figure this out logically. Two, six. This is going to let us draw one purple card. This is going to let us harvest one field. Okay, so that card's useless. I'm just going to go ahead and discard that card because that's not going to help us at all. Harvesting one field is not our answer. We need to make wine tokens and we need to make them yesterday. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to play on the blue spot. And we're going to do our crush expert. We're going to we're going to potentially play this blue play this little cube here. Maybe. We'll see what card we draw. So we're going to draw a purple card, which is a three-pointer. So you can just go go burn in a fire, three-point card. And then also we're going to make up to three wine tokens. Okay. Make up to three wine tokens. Wait, wait, wait. What am I panic about? We got this. We got this, right? So we can make this wine token right here, which will give us a four white. Wait, so we can complete this order right now. No, we can't complete that. We need a five and a three. Okay, so we're going to make this three right here. So that's going to be able to make us complete this wine. This, this wine order, which is going to give us four points. Now we need to be able to complete at least one more thing. And I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Oh, no. We're not going to be able to complete these orders. Oh, no. This stinks so bad. Yeah. There's no way about this. Holy moly. I think we just lost this. So much for adding these more difficult cards over here. Post in the comments below if you see a way we can win this, but I do not think that it is possible. We need three red cards right here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do. So we're going to get as close as we can, which means we're going to... 
We gotta make two more wine tokens, so we'll make a. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. That's a four. That's a three. We're gonna make. Oh my gosh! I'm such a noob. We're gonna make this four right here. We're gonna make this three right here, and we are good to go, people. We got this. We got this. No big thing. We play that right there, and also we're not going to play this card now. And then what we're gonna do? is we're going to fill a line order, and we're going to fill our four and our three. I just scoffed at this card. I find it funny that I scoffed at this card. So we're going to trade in our three and four white, which is going to give us one, two, three victory points. And then we are going to go ahead and turn in our three red, which we have, and our five white, which we have exactly, and get our four victory points. Boom! Put us one, two, three, four at 20 points. And just for good measure, we'll go ahead and play this. Give us one additional victory point card. Oh, we're going to use our Grande Worker, obviously, so we can actually legally fill two orders. But that will put us at 21 points. Boom shakalaka. Wow. That was a close game. I didn't think we were going to do it, but we did it. I'm going to flip the camera, and I'll give you my impressions on this version, or this, uh, this tier solo. All right, so we just played with the patronage, or patronage, or uh, I don't know how it's... Uh, how it's pronounced, but it is the third tier of tier one in the Tuscany expansion. What are my thoughts on this tier? Uh, so I, I like the first two tiers, and this tier I like it a lot as well, because it just gives you more to think about, more to go for. As you can tell, I was focused on this tier from the get-go, and that almost cost me the game. If I were playing a multiplayer game, it probably would have cost me the game, but luckily going up against the computer AI, it did not cost me the game. Uh, but I do like it. Uh, I think I love secret hidden things in games, and this obviously is really cool because that two-point swing can really help you. And as you saw, without that two-point swing, I go from 21 points to 19 points. Um, I also like the, the thing that it's going to give you some victory points early on for just having a five of any color. So if you have that extra wine token, you can just turn it in. It doesn't add too much complexity to the game, I don't think. It's really not going to be too hard to explain. It's just you can fill this wine order of any color you want. It's going to gain you three victory points. And then at the end of the game, if you do what's on the back of this card, which is secret, you gain two extra points. So it's very easy to explain. And that's one thing I've really liked about the first three tiers of this expansion for Tier 1 is that each and every one of them is very, very simple to explain and pretty easy to add to the game. So overall, my impressions... Um, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it multiplayer. I like it solo. So far, so so very, very good with this expansion. I'll honestly say this is probably one of the best expansions I've ever played. I'm getting close to having played everything in the expansion multiplayer, and I hope to get through everything solo as well. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Post in the comments below if you have any comments for me or anything that I should do differently uh, with how I'm presenting them or not, because these are my first foray into gameplay videos. But I think that's about all I want to talk to you about, so uh, let me know in the comments below what you're thinking, and I hope you enjoyed this gameplay.